This is my second tutorial about MOSFETs. Last time I made a video about connecting an n-channel MOSFET to an Arduino. Here's a link to it. Now I'm going to talk about p-channel MOSFETs. In this video I'm going to show you how to use it with an Arduino to switch on and off a 12 volt motor. It's a logic level and jump type p-channel MOSFET. A p-channel MOSFET activates when you apply a negative voltage to the gate compared to the source. Logic level means that uh, 5 volts is enough to turn it on and off. Enchantment type means that it is normally off. It's easy to wire it up to be off by default by just adding a pull-up resistor from the gate terminal to the source. To achieve this with an Arduino, you have to connect the 5 volt output pin to the source terminal of the MOSFET. Now we get the effect that digital output high is 0 volts on the gate and low is minus 5 volts on the gate. First you need two different power sources, one for the 12 volt motor and the other one for your Arduino. I have this adjustable power supply for the motor and I am going to use the USB cable from my PC to power my Arduino. First, let's start with connecting the motor to the power supply. The MOSFET will act as a switch to turn the motor on and off. Add a 10K pull-up resistor between the gate and the source terminal of the MOSFET. This will ensure that the motor stays off while there is no active signal on the gate. Otherwise, it can be floating in a half-active state. Now connect the positive output of the power supply to the source terminal of the MOSFET and the drain terminal of the MOSFET to one of the leads of the motor. Then connect the negative output of the power supply to the other lead of the motor. We also need a flyback diode since a motor is an inductive load. When the MOSFET is switched off, the coils inside the motor will continue pushing the current forward. And this will create a voltage spike on the MOSFET that can damage it. A flyback diode lets the induced current to flow back to the motor until all the excess energy is dissipated. Now we can test the circuit before connecting the Arduino. Currently the MOSFET is in the off state since the gate is pulled up to the source by a 10K resistor. If we connected the gate to the negative side of the power source, then the MOSFET uh, will start to conduct and the motor starts to run. Warning! Even though the Arduino barrel connector can take up to 12 volt input, you cannot connect it to the same power supply that you are using for the 12 volt motor. Powering the Arduino through the barrel jack will connect the negative output of the power supply to the Arduino ground. For the P-channel MOSFET we need to pull the Arduino 5 volt pin to the source terminal. But the source is already connected to the positive output of the 12 volt power supply. So also connecting the grounds will send 12 volts through the 5 volt pin and fry your Arduino. This means you need to have an isolated power supply for your Arduino. With an N-channel MOSFET we don't have this problem, because in that case the source terminal must be connected to the ground anyways. Since we have an isolated power supply for the Arduino, we can connect the 5 volt pin to the source terminal of the P-channel MOSFET. And finally, connect the digital output pin to the gate terminal. In the Arduino code we need to define the I.O. pin as an output, then set it to high to turn the motor off or set it to low to turn it on. This code will turn it on and off after every second. If you used a PWM pin, then you can use the analog write command to run the motor at half the power. If this video was helpful to you, then please leave a like. If you want to see more content like this, then please subscribe. Thank you for watching.